let's talk about the fit and the comfort. So I'm just gonna talk about just Western fit in general. So when you try a pair of Western boots, you wanna make sure that it's snug at the instep. So this is the instep of the boot right here. It also needs to be snug at the widest part of the foot, but not tight because you don't wanna pinch your toes. Also, you wanna make sure that you have just a little bit of heel slip. Because there's no laces, if you don't have heel slip, you'll end up gl getting blisters. I know it's a kind of a backwards way of thinking, uh, but you need a little bit of heel slip, probably about a finger's width or two finger's width of heel slip. Then also, another thing to think about, if you have higher insteps, so if your foot just kind of has just a little bit more bone up here, which is very common, you might have a little bit of trouble fitting into boots with shorter heels. So if that is a case for your foot, then higher heels, you're able to make that turn much more easily. So think about if you know your foot does have a higher instep or a lower instep, uh, the heel size will make a very big difference in that as well. We also talked about the leg opening being too tight or too loose. So that's just something to keep in mind. It seems like this one is very proportional uh, and can probably fit a lot of different calf styles. Unless you have like more thin calves, then it might be a little bit more roomy like what Rhea is experiencing. There's also a difference between the pointed toe and the square toe. Like that's a very stylistic option. Usually pointed toes are a little bit more fashion and square toes are a little bit more functional. People usually like square toes if they're working on a ranch all day long and uh, pointed toes for more fashion statements. At least that's how it is nowadays. People have these arguments all the time about what is fashion and what is more function. We would love to hear your comments in the comment section down below.